in a million years would I expect my first few weeks at Nevermore, a school for the brightest mathematicians in the world, to be so intriguing. So far, I've made friends. Surprising, right? Even is an average teenage girl who cares about looks. A lot. Euclid has a very odd obsession with bees, and he's very nerdy. And I still haven't figured out Zero, but he seems nice. But anyways, there has been a mystery plaguing my thoughts. See, at Nevermore, we have two different groups of people. Irrational numbers that have powers, like I have visions, even and Euclid are also irrationals. Irrational numbers are called normies, and zero is a recent normie transfer. Back to the point. There have been four missing irrationals from Nevermore. It has been baffling the police department for days, so we decided to solve it. What could go wrong? Okay, everyone, let's look for the four irrational numbers that went missing. We have to look for anything out of the ordinary, or irrational, I should say. <laughs> I got that one, I got that one. Got that one. That was awesome. Uh, are you guys sure this is a good idea? I don't think we should be doing this. No, we gotta figure this out. The police aren't figuring this out anytime soon. Let's just give it a shot. <coughs> you know what, I'm feeling a little sick, so I'm gonna go to my dorm room. <coughs> uh, tell you guys find anything peculiar. Okay, see you later. Uh, that was a bit weird, don't y'all think so? Whatever, let's just go to the crime scene. Guys, look over here. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's the sound we saw earlier. She oh, definitely yeah. helped us. Yeah, sure, sure. Definitely. Yeah, maybe there's a problem like this on all the doors, and it can help us find out who the perpetrator is. Actually, I think you're right. Let's go check them all out. <gasps> Let us try to figure this out. First, solve for z in the first two equations. From the equation x plus z equals 9, we can subtract x from both sides to get z equals 9 minus x. From the equation y plus z equals 7, we can subtract y from both sides to get z equals 7 minus y. Now we have two equations for z, both of which are equal to 9 minus x and 7 minus y. This means that 9 minus x equals 7 minus y. Solving the equation for y creates y equals x minus 2. We know that x times y equals 24. We can substitute the expression x minus 2 in for y in the equation. So, x times x minus 2 equals 24. Expanding the left side of the equation gives us x squared minus 2x equals 24. Moving all the terms to one side, we get x squared minus 2x minus 24 equals 0. We can factor this quadratic equation using the x factor method. We need to look for two numbers that multiply to give negative 24 and the same two numbers that add to give negative 2. Those two numbers are 4 and negative 6. Now we write the factored equation x plus 4 times x minus 6 equals 0. Using the zero product property, we can solve the two equations, x plus 4 equals 0 and x minus 6 equals 0. So, x can either be negative 4 or 6. However, x is a positive real number, so we can eliminate the solution x equals negative 4. Therefore, we have x equals 6, and we can use the equation y equals x minus 2 to solve for y. y equals x minus 2, so y equals 4. This means the, the answer, answer is... 10! Wait, I know how we got the answer, but how did you? Vision. Uh, uh, you know, we actually used the math to solve it. Yeah. But, um, how is this gonna help us? It's pitifully obvious. The answer is clearly the location of the victim. I mean, it's evidence 101, so knowing that it's probably a student at number more, it has to be their dorm! Oh, okay. Well, what are we waiting for? An invitation? Let's go! Oh my goodness. Zero? I never get told you guys what my dorm was. Honey. No! Hey! I never did catch up to zero, but we shouldn't have underestimated him. Because in math, zeros can make numbers disappear, turn whole bases into one, and cause a fraction to be undefined. The power of zero is stronger than we thought, but we've learned a valuable lesson. Math is the key to unlocking mysteries and solving puzzles. And one day, we'll catch zero and bring him to justice.